In this video, we are going to make this animation in Blender. So let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Samia Kavarkar and welcome to Agar Media Academy. On this channel, you will learn many skills about website designing, graphic designing, uh, 3D animation and many more. So if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and press the uh, bell notification icon so that you can get the updates about latest videos and latest um, updates about the channel. So let's get into this. Uh, this is a project which I worked on. Uh, it took me around two to three hours to uh, complete this. But now I think I can do it much faster. And I just wanted to teach you uh, about how I did this and uh, so that you can learn how to make animations and wallpapers in 3D uh, using Blender software. Blender software is free 3D animation software, which is completely license free. So <laughs> of course it has licenses, but the software itself is very free. So you can use it to create a uh, very cool 3D animations, models and stuff like that. So first let's look at the video. So this is a video which I posted on my other YouTube channel, Samyak Agarkar. If you haven't yet subscribed to that channel, please do also subscribe to the Samyak Agarkar channel. Uh, these particle systems I added later in Windows Movie Maker. And, but this is not what we are going to learn in this video. We are just going to go for the basic uh, 3D animation image. So basically we have these rings, sci-fi rings. And the girl is looking towards the rings uh, and she's on the ground with some water on the ground so this is what we want to create inside of blender so i'm using blender 2.81 version uh, quick update if you don't know how to use blender there is an upcoming blender tutorial series on this this exact youtube channel so please do subscribe to the channel and look for the blender tutorial series series playlist so that you can learn how to use blender for 3d modeling animations and stuff like that there are many things which will be covering uh, in the tutorial series so please do subscribe to the channel for the same now let's get started we want a plane we want to subdivide it it a few times let's say 100 so that we have some topology to work on right uh, we are going to scale it by 10 so that we have a big ground. Uh, this will be our G R O U N D <laughs> ground. Uh, go to the modifiers panel, displace it. A ground is never plain. So, a new texture, let's call this texture as ground text. Now, uh, renaming these things is very, very, very important uh, because. It's good to organize named images. We go to the clouds, shade it smooth. We just increase the scale to about here and decrease the strength to about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 would look good. Good, this looks good. So let's go color this up. New texture, call this ground color uh, sorry a material but ground yeah we want noise texture hope you can see it here come on noise texture texture coordinates node gives the object to vector color ramp just put in the factor here object to the vector come on on. it's not taking up but okay we don't even need it here now here you can see the colors it's black and white right now we are just going to change the colors to dark brown and yellowish brown now the roughness is too much we just need to increase the roughness so that the ground does not shine too much Okay, good. This is what we want. Now the water is going to be seen just with some different um, texture on there. So we just duplicated it, Shift D, place it right where it is. We are just going to change the texture to 
color uh, water texture water texture change the water texture to the clouds is, is going to be the same just we are going to decrease the size to add the turbulence to the water i think this much would look great but of course the height is too much we need to decrease the strength uh, this is 0 0.05 maybe less 0 0.02 yeah it looks good we don't want so much of water so grab that about here yeah good so we're just going to place it right here right now we want to color as well so in the shadings panel you can see the colors we just want not the ground color we are just going to change this to water color water we don't want this we don't want this so delete it up you can see how water is going to look but it's not the color of the water bluish and increase the transmission to about here i think would look great yeah good this looks much better i think we need the roughness to be very 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 low water is never shiny uh, water is always shiny it is not rough come on what am i talking about bluish water yeah good now this looks good okay so what is do we want the rings add mesh circle rotate this in the x direction by 90 grab it in z direction by 1 go to the edit mode extrude y little bit maybe this much good now we just want to give it a solidified mode so object solidify we are just going to increase maybe this much looks good apply we are going to go for the subdivision surface or maybe bevel before that let's go for the bevel more segments let's say 3 apply and subdivision surface 2 or 1 even 1 looks good right apply it here we want array modifier we don't want it is in this direction we want to go it backwards um, so we are just going to make it zero and let's say just going to increase it here yeah this much of distance is good and count to 10 we are just going to come on where is it come on yeah hi <laughs> Districts on mistake. So we are just going to grab it and let's put it down here. This looks good. This is what we are going to go for. Z. Yeah, good. So now what do you want? We want to texture this up. So let's go to the first UA rating panel. Select all. Yeah, good. Select all and press u for unwrapping smart uv project looks good we want to go to the materials tab add new call it white and add one more new call it emission so this is where emission is going to happen so what we're going to go is do is add the emission vertices so let's say this one come on not on this one this one also we are going to go for emission through these two uh, lines of vertices and go to the emission and assign them so if you select the dislike this select this you can see the emission has been assigned only to these vertices the faces right so go to the sharings panel we want the emission to be of emission type so we'll just delete this add emission node plug in it plug it into surface the color needs to be the blue and the strain needs to be around something like this if we go to the rendered mode 
you can you can see if the color is too dark too much so maybe this much i don't want this light so we're just going to delete this up and we want the color of the background to be much darker and somewhat in the blue direction right we want some amount of blue yeah it looks great just by adding blue right control uh, let's go to the rendered mode in layout it's looking much much better i think we just need the texture for this material to be changed so we are going to go for a noise texture go for color ramp or no, maybe not even color ramp just plug it right here to the base we go to the materials view uh, it's not visible because we need to add a textures coordinate node and plug the object to this one it should look good yeah good and the animation good now this is looking good the only last thing that we want to add let's change the color of the brown ground to be a little bit lighter so that we can see what's going on i think we'll be putting the camera to this position so it's zero and lock the camera to view and position the camera we need the camera to be something like this okay from this position i think it would look even much better because then we can see the lights coming on right Let's say this much i think good now here we just want um the girl right so add no of course we are going to import it from uh so this is a obj for in the obj format i've already saved a girl on desktop she just she's just looking at the uh, uh, so this one we want to use girl dot obj and so here you can see the girl we're just going to scale her down substantially let's say till here we just want to grab her to here let's see she's too tall grab her let's say right here rotate it rotate her into the direction like this now of course there's no light on her so we are just going to add a light of type spot going to rotate the light here grab it just near to her okay one thing we can see here that she is standing on the ground she is not standing on the ground so we are just going to put her on the ground let's look at this it's not looking good let's say maybe here this is also something we need to rotate maybe something like this and grab downwards like this good uh, we want the light to be on her grab her grab the light here just about here rotate it so that it faces her from this direction and scale it down because we don't want so much of light to be going here and there and oh come on come on come on come on come on yeah and we need to change the color 
change the brightness Go to this one of course there, there there is going to be there are going to be some changes to what we do here uh, reduce the size rotate it upwards so that it's facing her and let's say change the color to something yellowish so that her colors pop out a little bit and what else bring the brain to be softer would look good change the brightness just a little bit and now i think it's good it's looking good now first of all what we want to do is save the file so last time i just uh, did all of this and i did not save the file and that was it it just didn't work so we are going to go here and call it rings sometimes blender crashes during uh, uh, rendering process so we just need to save the blend file before we render so now i hit the render button we're just going to wait for some time five four three two one it looks great it looks great now one thing is very evident that um we need to change the resolution a little bit and the resolution is not good enough uh, let's say we just turn on the screen space reflections for reflections in the water and the bloom is at around right yeah this would look, would look good um yeah depth of field so for the depth of field what you're going to do is you select going to select the camera and select the depth of field and select the object to be the girl right and now i'm going to change the f stops and reduce it down so that uh, everything just blurs out right i think this one looks much better so according to the distance the depth would just be blurred so it looks great now save it and render the image 3 to 1 Boom. come on come on come on <laughs> yeah done good so this is what we created and this is how it looks like so this is the way to create an awesome image inside of blender so we're just going to save the image on let's say here call it rings dot rings tut dot png save the image and just going to show you how does it look like where is the rings dot no, no it's not in the project so um in the tutorial files and here's the rings tut rings tuts This is what it looks like. Let me just remove myself from the screen so that we can see. This is what it looks like. It's looking really, really great and it's looking really sci fi. You can change the things a little bit to have different uh, atmosphere, different modules, different uh, mood, different feeling, different sci fi objects. You can change. Uh, these rings to something else so that it looks different you can change the colors of the emission to maybe red or orange or yellow so that it looks different there are many 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 things that you can do so this is what we did for this tutorial i think you learned something from this video uh the only thing that i want to tell you again and again uh while ending this video is that if you don't know how to use blender please 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 do subscribe to this youtube channel uh, turn on the notifications bell notifications press the notification bells icon i'm going to uh, upload many tutorials on how to use blender from the ground up which is going to start from the scratch how to use blender how it works and what are the things that can be done in blender 
so please do subscribe uh, watch this video after you have learned blender or even if you don't want to uh, if you if you already have some idea about blender you can watch this video before um, learning before watching those uh, tutorial videos on my youtube so that you can at least get the idea of what are the things that are possible on blender in blender so hope you guys learned something from this video see you guys in the next video till then keep smiling and keep learning